Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for 5th graders. Our concept is order of operations. This is part 4. Remember 5th graders, it always seems impossible until it is done. We have our 5th grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, you can click the link in the description box to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Let's review order of operations. Most times we hear PEMDAS, which stands for Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally, and it just shows the order of how you need to solve an expression. So let's dive in. First, we have parentheses or brackets. Next up, exponents. Then multiplication and division in order fifth graders from left to right. So if you have an expression and division comes first and then there's multiplication, don't jump to multiplication. You are going to start with the division because again, it's multiplication and division in order from left to right. And the same thing with addition and subtraction. It's in order from left to right. So let's look at this great expression <laughs> that we need to solve. We can do it. So first, oh, let's read the expression first. It's eight squared plus six in parentheses, six minus two times five minus 10 divided by two. So the first thing we are going to do is tackle that parentheses. So now we have Focusing on our parentheses, six minus two, that is equal to four. Our expression will now read x squared plus four times five minus 10 divided by two. Next, we have exponents. And we have one exponent that's eight squared, which means eight times eight, that is 64. So our expression is now 64 plus four times five minus 10 divided by two. Y'all almost broke out into a wrap. All right, <laughs> y'all don't want me to do that. So step three, we have multiplication and division. So we have four times five, and it's only because it's in order from left to right. We run into our four times five first, and then our 10 divided by two. Four times five is 20. 10 divided by two is five. So our expression now reads 64 plus 20 minus five. And last we have addition and subtraction from left to right. So 64 plus 20 is equal to 84 minus five is 79. We got through that thing. Great job, fifth graders. Let's look at question number 23. And remember, we have our fifth grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. Number 23 says, at a clothing store, Zoe bought two shirts for $7.25 each and two pairs of jeans for $24 each. She used a coupon for $10 off the total price of the clothes. The discounted price of the clothes Zoe bought can be found using this expression. In our brackets, we have two times 7.25 plus two times 24, close bracket, minus 10. What is the discounted price in dollars and cents of the clothes Zoe bought? Okay, so let's look at our expression again. We see that in parentheses, again, we have that two times 7.25, and that is for the two shirts that Zoe purchased, and then 
two times 24 is for the two pairs of jeans she purchased. That bracket is closed because we need to find that amount. And once we get that amount, we are going to apply that $10 uh, coupon that she had and that's why we're subtracting 10. In order to solve this problem, the first thing we are going to ask ourselves is what are we looking for? We are looking for the discounted price for the clothes that Zoe bought. Now that we know that, what information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer, we're using PEMDAS, so we are going to tackle what's in the parentheses, I mean, what's in the brackets first, okay? What's in the brackets first? How do we solve this problem? By diving on in and let's handle this thing, okay? So again, we are gonna start with our bracket first. In our bracket, we have two multiplication um, that we need to take care of. And then after we get that answer, we're going to add. So first two times 7.25 is equal to $14 and 50 cent or 14.50. And then two times 24 is equal to 48. So now in our brackets, we have $14 and 50 cent plus $48. Now we need to add that together and that is equal to $62.50 minus, now we could drop the brackets because we've taken care of everything that's in there. We're dropping our brackets and we're subtracting 10. $62.50 minus $10 is equal to $52.50. So what is our correct answer? Our correct answer is $52.50. And that is it, fifth graders. We have completed part four of order of operations and also all of our review problems for order of operations. Remember, we have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The link is in the description box. And if you need a tutor, parents can sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.